Hello, hello everybody, it's Colin here, aka Lumberjack, and for the beginning of this video I have a clip that I said I would do for a few weeks now, and now that I have my camera back I am finally able to record it. This video is a quick look at my computer and the setup that I have in my room. What we're looking at here is my main 25 inch monitor, and this is where I'm going to be doing most of my gaming, including RuneScape. But I also do have a 32 inch monitor off to the left which I can also use to dual screen for my computer, but I mostly use it for Xbox games. And we can see my Xbox here with this black and white color scheme, which does match my computer, by the way. For my keyboard, I use a SteelSeries V6. Um, there's my DS, the special Zelda edition, and my iPhone. And for the mouse, I use also a SteelSeries Ikari Pro Gaming Mouse. I have a one terabyte external hard drive connected to my computer. And here you can see the tower which is encased in a uh, Corsair 600T special edition white case and it comes with a acrylic side panel so you can see inside and if I take off the side panel here quickly and just put it on the floor we can take a look at the components inside so I have a Core i7 processor right now it's just being cooled by the stock fan I don't see any reason at the second to water cool it, but if I upgrade my computer more, then I'll probably do that. I have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. I have a brand new Radeon 7950 graphics card, which was just released, I think, at the beginning of last month, and it's a, an amazing graphics card that works really well. I have my little Darth Vader bobblehead that sits nicely inside on top of my power supply which is also a Corsair power supply. For my memory, I have my operating system and my important games running off a 120 gigabyte solid state hard drive. So that's going to be as fast as possible to boot my computer and to load my games. And then for the rest of my applications and non-important files, I have them all stored on a two terabyte hard drive. So if we back up a little bit again, we can see the 600T Special White Edition uh, Corsair case, along with the rest of my setup. I also have a StarCraft II um, cardboard poster, the promotional poster that they use to advertise on my wall, along with a Star Wars Trilogy collection. This is from the original um, Trilogy box set collection of the VHSs. And this little picture came with it, and I really like it, so I have it framed. And I also have my Modern Warfare 2. Um, promotional cardboard stand cut out on the wall as well. Um, and I also have an, an another 25 inch um, monitor, but I just don't have the room on this computer desk to use it, so um, that might be something that I'll set up in the future. But this was just a quick look at the setup that I use while I'm gaming and I'm playing RuneScape, so hopefully you guys liked it. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So I hope everybody had a good bonus experience weekend. I hope you were all able to get the levels that you wanted, train the skills that you wanted, and save a lot of money in the process. I know for myself I had a very excellent bonus experience weekend. I started by training farming for most of the weekend, and then I ended with about 7 hours left in the weekend itself, and also 7 hours left on my multiplier timer. And then from that time I trained crafting on um, all the way to the end. And so I was able to get my farming experience up to 17.17 million, which is really awesome, getting really close to 20 mil there. And then for crafting, I was able to get my crafting level up to 90, which is really awesome. And with both of those, I got my total level to 1,457, and my total experience is 194.5 million, so I'm getting really, really close to a 200 million experience total. And now that I have 90 crafting, I'm probably going to um, finish it off, get 99 and get it out of the way, and then I can start training. I'm going to start doing smithing, agility, rune crafting, construction and hunter, as well as dungeoneering and getting all of those 80 plus. And then I'm going to have a good base and I'm going to be able to start picking those off one by one and getting them to 99 and getting myself closer to a max skiller. So I also had somebody ask me how to use the screen marker program, so I'm just going to make a quick little guide on just how to use it and um, where to get it from. So basically it's pretty simple, just go to Google, type in screen marker, and what you're going to get is a www.screenmarker.com, and you can just click on that. It's a pretty self-explanatory website, you just hit the big download button, download it and then install it, 
and once you're ready to go you can just open it up and this is the screen marker interface you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want whatever color you think you're going to see best and whatever size of brush you wish i usually just use a pink color and the smallest brush and we also have the um what kind of style we um, are going to be using to mark on the screen and we're always going to be using the rectangle here so it's just a rectangle box without the middle being filled in so when you start to craft something it'll bring you up all the options here and basically um, you can use it for banking or when you're crafting items but you just click on the the rectangle in the interface left click and drag and it's gonna make a box there now you can just minimize this and it'll stay up uh, inside of runescape and then you can just click and so it'll always be there so you can always go back and forth really quickly and you can also do this for uh, banking and the drop all button you can mark that if you're doing smithing like in my previous videos you can have that marked as well and so you can um, drop your inventory into the bank really quickly so hopefully that helped it's not that hard of a program to figure out so um, hopefully that helps you guys speeding up with your skilling and I think I'm going to end the video here as always, please visit Clan Hopeful's official YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash Clan Hopeful Official. And also check out their forums if you're not part of them, www.clanhopeful.net. If you liked what you saw today or if anything helped you out, then make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. That's much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.